searching, the bug tracker is really easy if you know some key things that I'm going to show you because some things in here, they work similarly to other search engines and some things who work quite differently. It's always healthy to search before posting an issue because, hey, it may already be reported and you don't want to spend time duplicating it, right? So first off, here is our quick search. You can enter in a single word, and there's always these little hover tips. Pardon, it's cut off a bit, but you'll see for yourself. Learn by doing. So let's try inventory and hit enter, and it will come up shortly. Easy enough, eh? Okay, so next, a little more advanced here. Turn it up a notch. <laughs> if there's a specific phrase of more than one word you want to search for, like shared, whoop, shared media, use quotation marks around it, just as I have, and you'll see that all the results contain that exact phrase. Or if you want to require that two or more words all show up in each and every result, use and in all caps to separate them. So shared, whoops, not shared again, <laughs> sharing twice. <laughs> I'll redone it. Shared and media and YouTube hit enter and notice we get fewer results because it's very specific, but all three words, shared, media and YouTube are found. And if you don't see it necessarily in the subject line, here's a good example. If you click through to an issue, you will still see them as you can see YouTube in the description So the extended issues information. Let's go back here. Whoops. Okay, let's reload that. Now on the left hand side, if you've been here before, this is what we could call the old school view. <laughs> Funnily enough, it looks kind of intimidating with all those fields and the new advanced searching up here might be easier. So at first you're like, what does this mean? It uses a query syntax, which you can click there for more help, but I'll get you started with a simple example. Say you want to find all issues that a specific resident reported that are fixed. Okay. So reporter here equals, and in this case, I'll enter myself. It must be in quotation marks here and then, and resolution Notice how it auto completes equals fixed. So it tells us, yeah, this is valid query language. You could click that to properly capitalize whatever. And then you can click search and it will do exactly that. Notice that everything has been reported by this dude, Torley Linden, who abides. <laughs> and a resolution, of course, is fixed right there. If you want to save this quick search for later, you can save it as a filter right here. Just go ahead and click that and we'll give it a name. Torley Linden fixed. Okay. Something like that. Why didn't fix it myself? <laughs> Torley Linden loved to see them fixed. <laughs> and there's various other options. So for now though, let's just save that Notice here, there is a manage tab. And if you're lost finding this, you can go to issues right here and notice where it shows your stuff that you've been mucking about in and then manage filters gets us back to right here, my filters. And you can see the one that we just made. By the way, advanced and simple search, they can convert their input to each other. Let me show you an example of that. So if I enter something like library and again, the ever popular word inventory, and I just hit enter right there and it will show us how this looks. But if I switch to advanced searching, it will show the query that I can enter to get the same results. In some, in some instances, they can be simplified too, but this offers a great deal of power user control. Let me show you the syntax here. And it can get quite deep. You don't need to be concerned with all that for now. Begin and evolve. So that should get you started searching. Play around, learn by doing on the Second Life Bug Tracker.